Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. Hey there everyone, this video we're gonna be talking about how to create extra branches in your if statement using elif and else. So right now we are checking if your age is over 20. We can actually make another condition by pressing enter there, backing up so we're no longer indented, and then say elif, and then we put another condition here. So let's say, you know, if you're like a senior citizen, you get like a discount on our app, right? So I don't know, I think it's 65 when you're considered, considered old, oh, I'm not sure. And then what we'll say is print, and we'll say, hey, you get a special discount. Now the thing is only one of these will ever be hit. So it's not the case that if someone is 75 that this is gonna happen because it's true and then this is gonna happen because it's also true. Because there's this L part which is short for else if, so it's one or the other. And since the first one's gonna be hit first, then that is always going to be hit. So let me show you what I mean. We run this, what's your age? If we put in 85, it says, welcome to our app. So this passed is true. It said, welcome to our app. And then it jumped down to this line here. Oh my golly, Claire. Hello, this is Taco Bell. How can I help you? Like 50 tacos. 50 tacos? Yeah. You're not Claire. I thought this was Claire. Okay, um, I lost my train of thought there. So the LF is short for ELSIF, so only one will ever be executed. So what you can do is you can switch the positions of these. So we could take this one, cut it, and move it to the top. So I'll show you what I mean in a sec, just follow along here. Paste that there, and then switch the ELIF to down here. All right, so now when we run this, we put in 85, and it says you get a special discount. We run it again and we say 30. It just says welcome to our app. So the order does matter. Now there is another option and that is a catch all else statement. Now I call it a catch all because if we go through all of the if or elifs and none of them are true, the else will be hit. And it is optional, like I just showed you the app worked fine. But if you wanna say like, oh, you're not old enough, this is where you would do it like so. Running this, we can try to put in a really low age such as one, running this and it says you're not old enough. Although this is always hit. So after the if statement, all of these together, you can just consider it as one giant block. It'll just go down to line 11 and continue executing. So let's open those back up and we're going to be building upon the logic for our application. Right now we're using the greater than comparison operator. There are other ones. So, you know, maybe there's this really special case. If you're 21, you know, this new wine app is going to give you a special to try to get the new people that just turned 21 subscribed to this monthly wine service that we're working on. So we could do that after this one here. And we would say elif age equal equal to 21. So that is how you check if things are equal. You use two equal signs, not one because that's the assignment operator. That's what we use to assign values to variables. So if your age is 21, we're going to print real big, super special. So let's try this. We run this thing and we enter our age of 21. It says super special. If we put in a different age such as 30, it just says welcome to our app, so it skips that one. There are also a few other comparison operators, so there is the less than operator, which is just this pointing the other direction. There's also the less than and equal to operator where you just append an equal symbol, as well as the greater than or equal to comparison operator. So those are some of them you'll see, and there's some other stuff you can do with if statements, which we'll be doing in the next couple videos. So we will put that back to greater than 65, and we'll move on to the next video.